So you have a teacher account and now you need to create or find some assignments for your students to complete. If you go up to assignments and in the pull down menu you don't have any assignments yet so right now we're working on the bottom two choices. You can go to the assignment library where you can find pre-made assessments and assignments by other teachers that you can customize pretty easily or you can start from scratch with your own text and videos and create your own questions. So to save us some time let's take a look first at the assignments that are already made by others that are available in the library. And when I click on the library if I stay on this search tab here I can go ahead and type in the standard that I might want to look for. So if I'm looking for RI 3.4 and I click on search, I have 34 choices that come up. If I want to take a peek at one, I can click on student view. This has seven questions that, you, as you can see right here. It has some of the park-like features that we're familiar with, the scrolling text, and this one happens to be multiple choice. You can click through the questions similar to park and this one has a really nice drag, drag and drop to sort information. You can actually go ahead and try the um, tasks as well when you're in student view. So if you click through and you decide this is something that you do want to use with your students then you can go ahead and click copy or assign right here and it's going to bring up all of the questions that are in that assignment. So here's where you can go ahead and personalize it to meet your um, students' needs. So here's the question, and if you go over here to the pencil, and you click on it to edit it, you'll see that it gives you the correct answer, and it gives you all of um, the text and the directions up here. So if we go ahead and mouse over each section of the assignment, for example, when I go here, you'll see that the pencil is coming up and the X. If I wanted to eliminate a choice, I would click the X. If I wanted to edit the choice, I would click Open Full Editor. So let's take a look at what that looks like. Let's say I wanted to um, edit choice B. There's the choice B, so I could go ahead and click right within here and do whatever I wanted to do um, to change my answer choice there. And I, again, have all this um, toolbar up top so you can go ahead and make any changes that you want to make to make this assessment yours. So I'm going to click OK even though I didn't make any changes. Um, you'll notice when I come over to the text side the pencil is here again. If I click on it I now have the numbered paragraph similar to Park but I can also go in now and edit this text to um, make it easier or harder or to differentiate any way I need to for my students. If I want to take out text, like take out the last paragraph, I can go ahead and just take it out. And then when I click um, OK, then it saved the way that I edit it before I go ahead and assign it to my students. So pretty much you can edit this assignment everywhere. You can go ahead and change the name up here if you want it to, to make it fit whatever your needs are. You can change the directions by clicking in the box right here. As we mentioned, you can click on the pencil anytime that appears to make changes. So that's how you would go ahead and personalize each question one at a time in order for um, your quiz to truly become your own. So I'm okay with this, so I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Changes will be added to the assignment. And to get out of this question or to close it, I go over here to this red arrow and click it. And now my question one has been edited. If I want to continue, I would just go ahead and click down here on this pencil to edit the same way question two. And two things worth mentioning. If I want to change the order of the questions, I can go ahead and just slide them around like that. And if I want to change the point value of each question, I can go ahead and click in this box here. If I want this to be worth 10% or 5%, then that's how I would go ahead and change the point value of my questions. If I'm good with this, I um, could give it a due date if I wanted to do that. If you don't give it a due date, it will just remain in their assignments until you take it out from your dashboard. But if you wanted to put a due date in here, you can just click on this calendar and select the date that you would like it to be finished by or turned in by. And you can e easily put directions in here um, that fit your needs as well. If I'm happy with that, I can go ahead and click Save. 
and if I move it from draft to active it will be sent out to students. If I want to keep it and work on it later and I'm not ready to assign it then I would click cancel and keep it in my draft. I am ready to assign it to students so I'm going to go ahead and click confirm and now that assignment has been sent out to my students in this class. The other way that I could go ahead and find assignments is to go down to the library again and this time instead of using the search box like we did I could click on this tab here and pull down the different folders go to the grade that I'm looking for under Common Core Standards for Math Grade 4 and I can go ahead and click on the exact standard and you'll see that there's 74 assignments that have been created that I can go ahead and personalize so if I want to click on the student view to see if this is for me this one has 27 questions and you'll see some of the nice park features that are here um, because they're not just multiple choice but they actually have to highlight their answer before they click the arrow to move forward. If this is something I like I can go ahead up here again and click copy or assign and when I do that it's going to let me go in just like we did for the previous assessment to go ahead and edit my questions. So that's how I would search assignments in the assignment library.